So I just want to share with you today a little quick tip around the VS Code breadcrumbs feature. Now the breadcrumbs are these things up here that show you the path to the file. By default, what you can do is you can hit on Windows Control Shift period. Uh, on Mac, that'll be Command Shift and period. And what it will do is it will list all the symbols in this given file that you can jump to. So for example, I'm in a small little side project that has various authentication methods. You can log in with GitHub or with Google OAuth. And you can see it's listing there all the various symbols. So GitHub provider up here, we've got functions as well that it will let me jump to. Now, I don't personally find that very useful. I don't typically jump to symbols. If you do, the breadcrumbs are a great way to do that. What I've found is that if you disable the symbol search, the breadcrumbs become a really useful way to navigate between files in the same directory. So I'm going to go into my VS Code settings. And what we're going to do is search for breadcrumbs. And if we scroll down here, we're going to see breadcrumbs symbol path. Controls whether and how symbols are shown in the breadcrumbs view. So I'm going to do that from on to off because I don't really ever want to see those symbols. If we close out settings and go back to auth.js, what we're going to do, if we now hit control shift period again, we now get a list of files in this current directory. I can use my arrow keys to navigate up and down. So let's find spinner.js. I can hit enter and then I'm taken right there. I find this really useful. I use this all the time to navigate to different files within the same directory. And it's something I don't see many people making use of the breadcrumbs. So next time you're in VS Code and you want to try navigating to a file in the same directory, try seeing if the breadcrumbs can help you. You can also hit Control Shift dot to bring it up and then start typing to search this list. So there I just typed auth to hit enter to go back to the auth. So not only can you navigate with the arrow keys, you can also bring up the UI and then start typing on your keyboard for the name of a file and VS Code will jump to that file. It's a really useful way to jump between files in the same directory.